it's not light over there. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey guys. So today we're going to be doing a rainbow loom tutorial. And this tutorial is the video that I watched was inspired by, uh, what's it called? Ashley Stuff. So go check their channel out. And we're going to be making a regular, um, bracelet for today. Nothing different. And this bracelet is going to be a triple single. So the things you will need for this are, obviously, rubber bands, a hook, a clip, and your loom. And it's going to be set up in the normal configuration. Staggered one, the one that goes like that. So, yeah. So, first things first. I'm the realist now. Okay. First things first, you're going to set it down. And you're going to take your one color that you need. And you're going to go from this peg. Sorry, wrong peg. This peg to this peg. So it looks like that. And then you're just going to go like this all the way up to the end. So you don't have to specifically keep up with me. I, I like to go speedy. If you like to go speedy, you know, go ahead. You can do that. That's perfectly fine. When it comes to doing this, I can get rubber bands on and off instantly. And you're going to go all the way up to the left peg. So it looks something like this. All the way down. Then you're going to get your second color, which is just going to be like for me, like that double. I'm trying to set the camera up in the over the top leaning position to get that. And then, if I'm going to set it up in another one. Okay, so yeah. You're just going to take one rubber band again, put it over, and then since I'm doing mixed colors for this one, I'm just going to go orange, purple, orange, purple, all the way up to the top. And then you can use whatever colors you want. You can do one single color. You can do a whole bunch of different colors. doesn't matter. You can make, you can do any colors you want. It is completely and honestly up to you. But, yeah, so the reason why we're not conjoining these is because for later... You'll understand later when we do it. And last one. So again, something like this. Do not conjoined at any other things. But yeah. So there we go. Hmm, sorry about the this. <laughs> so, yeah, and, um, you can leave this empty, and then you're going to take your other color and go there. So, practically, you're just going color to color to color all through there. So, I did, like, purple mix, and then orange, orange. And you can make this again any color you want. So this is also sort of for beginners, and it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Can't get this on this stupid peg. Some of mine get you know, a little, little tangled. And there. Now this is well, watch this. This is for your next step. We're gonna take this one. And can join it over to there. You can take this one. You can join it. Push those down. You can join it over there. So that way, 
it curves at the bottom, then it goes just up to the pegs at the top. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to place one cap band. So you use a cap band in any color. I'm using purple. Go down to the bottom right here. And you're going to twist it three times. Four times if you can, but three times is good. So, one, two, three, four. So there we go. Now, before we flip it around, we're going to do the things, little triangles to keep it together. So you're going to skip this row, and you're going to go like that. And you're going to go like that all the way up to the top. Well, to the bottom, but in your, in, when you flip it around, it would be the top, but yeah. And make sure you're not overlapping any other bends. I mean, going under, but make sure they're over top of them. And it's very easy to do this part. Now, last one. Now... Something like this. Now it's time for it to start. So just go under your cap band and grab that one band and hook it over. Then using the show you go under, like the next band, which is purple for me. And loop it over. Then go under. Whoops. See? I make mistakes too. And then we move in breaks. I'll fix it. So now, here's a trick to fixing it. Take your thing, stick it over to the side. Take your other one, stick it over. Whoops. To the side. Take a cat band. Sorry. Yeah. So let it go after. That stretches it out too. Makes it more flexible. Then you'll have two bands just lifting, you know, sort of <laughs> levitating. So I'm just gonna grab one of my durable blubber bands. B blubber bands. Rubber bands. There you go. So then again, you shall push them over. One. So I have to get the camera's view. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So again, I'm just going to take it out of the camera view because I take things out of the camera view. I don't know why. Set it up. When you're doing it, carefully pull it depending on... Now, my favorite brand is Rainbow Loom brand because the rubber bands are more flexible and easier to work with. Now in the middle, and I go to the middle and then I do the sides. In the middle you're just going to simply go under. See that rubber band? The next one, pull it over. Then you should sort of get like a teardrop look effect shape thing. Up and go that side. And then I'm gonna do that and hook that side. Okay. So you're just gonna do that all the way up. So I'm just gonna take this out of the camera to view and um, do that. Hey guys. So 
Sorry, I'm not sure well. I just um, came home from school a couple hours ago and uh, wasn't feeling well, so I came home early with my leg. So now I'm just looping this. And I loop fast, so you guys won't be here. So, um, um, yeah, this is the first looming video that I'm doing. And, uh, I should, I mean, I said I should be posting more later. So I finished that. And now, instead of pointing that, let's push it down. Yeah, so this is just my first looming video. I made one on my other channel, like, about, oh, God, um, <laughs> a year ago. And it was, like, kind of make a normal rubber band bracelet. And it was one of the new beginner ones. Sitting there thinking, looking at it, going, wow. I used to only be able to make those, and I never knew how to make these, so... So, yeah. So now, once you figured this, you're going to grab both. Be even. Pull it over that side. Push them down on the peg if you need to. Grab these ones. Mm. Put them over on that peg. Oh, shoot. Right now, I'm just doing some fixing errors. Sort of editing it. Okay. Yep, okay. Now I'm just gonna go under, over, and there we go. There we go. Now it's actually done. What you're gonna wanna do now that we are practically basically done is grab a rubber band. And put your hook underneath it, grab it with your thing, pull it under, <laughs> just pull it up like that. Then, take it off. Okay. Now one of my good things to do is stick it in there and just go sideways and go sideways again. Okay. So here is your triple single bracelet. I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And tell me what tutorial you want me to do next. Thanks for watching. Bye.